I am actually packing for New York. I leave in the morning, so these are the shoes that I think I'm gonna bring, but it's gonna be cold. So we are packing lots of coats. Brandon's helping me, we're gonna get dinner in a bit. But that is just what we're doing today. So I will see you guys in New York. Hello friends, so I just got in like an hour ago. I rushed to get ready because I'm meeting some of the girls from Origins, but I wanted to show you this room. It is so stunning. So this is what you see as soon as you first in. Of course, I've already made it an absolute mess, but we have a king bed. Shannon and Madison are on their way tomorrow. And then look at this pretty little view. Very New York, I feel like, because you get the side of a building and then you see a little bit of the city out there. But behind those curtains over there is actually a closet. We have some robes over there. And in here, oh my God, look how beautiful this bathroom is. Pretty shower and I am rushing to get ready. This is my little outfit. I have my Doc Martens on. I feel like these are really great for walking around the city and I won't care if they get super dirty. I have this shirt here from Revol, some jeans and I'm planning on throwing on this like little jacket and run out the door. Hello friends, so I just got back home and it is around 10 o'clock. I am going to start editing my video um, for this week. I had such a great day. As soon as I landed in New Jersey, I took like a 30 minute Uber to the hotel and the whole ride I was just like staring out the windows because the city is just so gorgeous and then i met up with origins and we had drinks and they gave me such a generous little goodie bag and then shortly after that i met up with some of my friends at glow recipe shane and i actually have been instagram friends for a really long time and his username is dermatologram and this is our first time like meeting and getting to hang out in real life and we ended up spending the entire evening together he is just such a sweet soul i always love meeting people that i've known online and then finding out that they're just as good in person as they are online so we ended up going to boba guys and we went to this like korean restaurant before that was super good my skin is so oily and i just want to take a shower wash my hands and i will hop back with you guys and show you some of the stuff that i got today first i met with some First, I met with some of my friends at Origins and they gave me a couple of restocks. I'm actually going to be working with them again and it's actually gonna be on this Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. And this is kind of like a soothing slash hydrating toner. This ginseng cream is wonderful. It's an oil-free, energizing, boosting gel moisturizer. They also gave me a peace of mind on the spot treatment, retexturizing clay mask. Excited to try, I haven't tried this, but Origins makes wonderful clay masks. And then I also have this uh, frothy face wash already. I brought it with me when I went to Seattle and I really, really enjoy it. Then I met up with my friends at Glow Recipe. He generously gave me the entire Glow Recipe line, and I'm such a fan of Glow Recipe. They have great skincare, especially this Avo Retinol line is one of my favorites. This eye cream, oh, my nail got stuck. This eye cream is so good. If you have any type of milia or any type of texture, on your under eyes this will help get rid of it so quick and since it does have retinol you're not supposed to use it every single night so i probably use that about one to two times every single week they also gave me their cleanser which is great the watermelon line which is amazing pineapple c serum which i really really enjoy this is one of my favorite vitamin c serums but the only thing about it is it kind of smells like pee i do like that everything is not heavily fragranced so it doesn't really bother me that much and then we also have their new banana souffle moisture cream which i really really love i just did my skincare so i'm gonna kind of take the time to catch up on emails, edit my video, and kind of plan out my day for tomorrow because I have a meeting in the morning and then a meeting in the evening. I also want to take some pictures by myself, so I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and catch up on some work and go to bed early today, and I will see you guys in the morning.
Hello friends, so I am feeling super drowsy today and I am actually working on my video. I'm almost done with it. Two of my girlfriends might not come. Madison is worried that with the whole coronavirus and stuff like that and with work, she just doesn't know if she can come. So she's gonna let me know. And then Shannon um, is texting me right now and we're talking about like if she even can. So that's a little bit sad and Ginny was supposed to come with us. I don't know if I already mentioned it, but she's not coming because of the whole coronavirus thing too. And she just wants to be safe, especially because she lives with her parents who are a little bit older. So I totally understand that. So I am just spending like a lot of quality time by myself, which is nice. But I have a couple friends in New York that I might meet up with later on in this weekend. So I'll be fine. Um, but anyways, I'm going to have some room service and finish editing up my video. Hello friends, I had such a good day and I am so tired. Um, I actually found out from Shannon and Madison who were supposed to come out with me today that they weren't able to make it out just because their work and stuff like that, it's just not really worth the risk for them to make a trip for fun, which I totally understand. Finalized a few campaigns as well while I was out here, so it ended up being really, really nice for me and having the freedom to kind of do whatever I want was really nice. It's 1 a.m. and I said I was gonna go to sleep early, but I didn't. Uh, when I got home from my meetings today, I was like a little bit tipsy just because I'm such a lightweight and and I didn't have any dinner so I ended up coming home and doing a little workout showering and taking a ton of product shots so I was actually editing the entire time and anyways it's getting late I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning
I actually was fully planning on just staying here over the weekend in New York. I haven't really had the chance to walk around and explore the city yet, but we heard news that New York is now in lockdown. Everyone is freaking out. I had one more meeting today with pharmacy that got canceled because everyone is going home. So now I'm thinking like, okay, should I be worried? I called Alaska Airlines and I was put on hold for two hours. So I kind of gave up on that and ended up just booking a flight to fly back tomorrow morning. There was a flight for this evening, but I figured I'm here anyway and I haven't been able to do anything so I might as well try to make the most of this trip and then I'm meeting my friend Nam later we're gonna walk around the city and try to take some photos go get lunch and dinner and then gonna go to bed early because I'm flying out early tomorrow morning so I was born under the sun so I'm so afraid of you made peace with all I've done but that just wasn't enough She's election once or twice Yes, I am ashamed of it I try to keep my soul intact What else could I have done? I wanna say, hey Oh, woman and I'm cold Oh, I wanna go home alone I wanna go home alone Hey, oh, calling on my own So I am finally back. Nam and I ended up shooting a ton of photos. But we ended up walking around so much today. We went to Soho. It makes me just want to come back to New York another time when times are better and there's not like a pandemic going on. My flight back home is early tomorrow morning and I am just so excited to get back home. I was supposed to fly out Monday morning, but just with everything that's going on, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. And honestly, I was thinking for a while that I almost regretted taking this trip, but now looking back, I don't. In the future, I know that whenever there's anything going on and if I'm ever sketch about anything, that I shouldn't go. So now I know it was partly for work, but today made the whole trip super fulfilling and I had so much fun catching up with Nam and her and I have been childhood friends, but I haven't seen her in years. So I told her come to LA and she's gonna come visit me and I'm gonna come back to New York when times are a little bit better and just have a little bit more time to explore the city. I wore my Ilya foundation and I did not do my little hack today so my skin is a grease ball. You guys saw my recent foundation hack video where I put on powder before my foundation. It really does make a difference because my skin, it just gets so greasy and like honestly when my face is like this it just doesn't photograph well at all but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower pack up and get ready to head home <laughs> 